Let's go over how to create and use themes. To find theming, go to Settings, scroll down, and under Branding and Legal, click Theming. Theming is applied to headers and footers and allows you to control your theme and project your brand. By default, you will always have the account theme. This information is set based on what you have in your profile. If we click in, we'll see it has pulled all the information from our profile. If we scroll down, you'll see you can set the theme for emails, forms, and legal agreements. If the PM Premium feature is turned on, you will also get header and footer options for owner statements. The header and footer for each can be configured separately. If we'd like to add something, like our phone number, to the bottom of all of our emails, click Change. Then in the text box, add a space, then go to Insert Field, and under Account, we'll insert our company phone number. You can also type in whatever you want into this box. For example, a hard-coded phone number that's different than the phone number you have in your account. Now if we scroll down and click Save, now we'll see our company phone number has been taken from our profile and put into the email's footer. If we'd like to see how this looks on one of our email templates, we'll go under Messaging and click Templates. We'll go ahead and click on this Welcome template. Now when we preview, we'll see our name, our email address, and our phone number have all been pulled into the email template. If you'd like to preview how the account theme looks on a form, go to System Messages, then select a system message like Send Payment Request Form to Guests, then click the Actions button, Preview, then click the Form link. Here we see at the bottom of the form is our footer. If we go back to Onores and click Close, we can also preview how the account theme will look on a legal agreement. If we go to our legal agreements, then select our rental agreement, then click Preview. When we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see our account theme footer. Now if we click Close and go back to our themes, let's say you want to change the email of your account theming. To change the email, you'd have to change it in your profile. To do that, go into the upper right, click on the drop-down menu, then click Profile. Here you can change your email for your profile. We'll just change this to Paul, then click Save. Now if we go back to our theme, we'll see the email has updated. If you would like to use a different email address than what is on your profile, you can click into the theme, then go into the header or footer of any of these, click Change, and you can remove this field code and add a hard-coded email address. Then click Save. Now we'll see the email address that is in our profile is not used in this footer. You can easily go back and click Change, then delete that, and reinsert the My Email field code. Then click Save. You can also create multiple themes, and you can map them to a specific property. Let's go ahead and create another theme. Click Add. Now enter the theme information. The only required fields are the first name, the last name, and the email address. The rest are all optional. Now click Save. Here we see we currently do not have any emails, forms, or legal agreements, header or footers configured. We can simply go in, click Change, click the Insert Field button, and add the fields that we'd like. We still want our first name, we'll add a space, but this time, instead of our email address, we only want our phone number. We'll click Insert. Now we'll click Save. Because we didn't enter a phone number, we'll need to go back to Change, then go to Business Phone, and enter the phone number. Then click Save. Now we see it has input the phone number that we just added by clicking the Change button. This works the same way with the business URL and the business name. You can also add a different logo. By default, if you do not add a file, there will be no logo associated with this theme. To add a logo, 
Click Change, then next to Logo, click Choose File. This will open up a file window where you can select your logo, then click Open. Next click Save. And now we'll see our logo has been added. If we go back to our themes, we'll see the logo appears underneath the logo's column. We can just as easily click back in, then click Change, and delete that logo if we don't want this theme to have that. Now if we go back to theming, we'll see we have two themes. If we'd like to map each to different properties, click on Property Mapping. Here we see we have two properties. Currently, they are both using the account theme. If we'd like to change Bear Valley to the theme we just created, we'll select that theme. Then click Save. Now the Bear Valley property will only use this theme. This is useful if you had multiple different websites for each property. You wouldn't want to have the URL the same on both properties' emails, forms, and rental agreements. You can also easily come back and edit this however you like at any point in time. All emails, forms, and legal agreements will automatically be updated. If you had a lot of different themes, you can use the filter button, then select status enabled, any status, or disabled. You can also click the down arrow to edit the theme or open a new window. You can also click the edit button to be brought into that theme setting. If we go back, we'll also see there's a batch button. If you had a lot of different themes, you can check off all the ones you'd like to disable or enable or delete by using the batch function. That is how you create and use themes in Onores.